to ramp up both uh, development and distribution by the end of the year a difficult but credible objective. It's the single greatest hope for a return to normal life, a vaccine effective against coronavirus. Today, President Trump unveiling the team behind Operation Warp Speed, a coordinated effort between government agencies and the military to come up with a vaccine by the end of the year. We'd love to see if we could do it prior to the end of the year. We think we're going to have some very good results coming out very quickly. The president tapping a former pharmaceutical executive and a four-star general to lead development and distribution nationwide. A few hundred million doses of vaccine by the end of 2020. Uh, uh, and we will do the best we can. That optimism is at odds with many medical experts who warn of safety issues if we move too fast. I think we set back planning in this country in a major way by overpromising something that can't happen. With dozens of different vaccines in development around the world, there are signs of progress. Monkeys responding well in one Oxford University trial. We're working together with many different countries. And again, we have no ego. We have no ego. Whoever gets it, we think it's great. We're going to work with them. But even as he revealed the administration's push, President Trump said the country must reopen either way. Vaccine or no vaccine, we're back. News today, U.S. retail sales fell more than 16% in April for the largest two-month decline on record as Democrats vote today on a $3 trillion economic relief package that the President and Senate Republicans have said is dead on arrival. And back to the, the, the vaccine push, even as there are several in development, the military is working to lay the groundwork